Pisces! Welcome to Starchaeology Tarot. I am Desi. I'll be your Starchaeologist this evening, and by evening I mean whatever time it is right now for you. Welcome to this Starchaeological dig deep into your soul for the month of May. Deep into your month of May. Um, I'm so excited to see what May holds for you, and I my intention with this reading is to deliver to you the message that is most important for you to hear right now that will help align you with your highest path, your highest self, your highest good. If you have additional intentions that you want to add to that, please do that now while I tune in and shuffle the cards. I'll also say um, what is resonant with you is what is meant for you. If there are parts of this reading that are not resonant, with you, do not freak out, don't panic. Um, everyone remain calm. That is just probably meant for another Pisces. So you can let them have it. Um, I also encourage you to check out your the May reading for your uh, rising sign, moon sign, Venus, whatever other areas of your life you're curious about. You are a precious snowflake and the truth is is that you're a, a, a very complex combination of um, astrological signs <laughs> in different parts of your chart. So to get a better idea of the of the very individual snowflake that you are, um, I encourage you to do some further digging than just your sun sign. Okay, let's get going. Gosh, shut me up, someone. Let's go. Pisces, did you see how quickly she flew out in this reading? High Priestess. Um, so last month, if I remember, April, um, if I remember correctly, there was, we had two Wheel of Fortune cards. Um, Destiny was really stepping in, taking the wheel for you, and um, there were just maybe some, some big shifts, big twists and turns in your April. Um, that could only really be explained, changes of courses that could only really be explained by destiny, by fate, um, not not so much by reason or logic. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is appearing again here in our outcome position for the month of May, and then being fueled kind of by the, the High Priestess, we, I, I'm just kind of interpreting this because she flew out as I was shuffling. Um, just kind of setting the stage for this whole month for you is a real deep dive into your very dreamy selves, into the dream world that is Pisces, into the subconscious, and bringing things in the subconscious to light. Um, this is a time where your dream, your dreams always matter to you. I know that, but this is a time where your dreams, I think, hold even more wisdom, hold even more clues for you. Um, your intuition is firing on all cylinders, um, and there's an inner knowing and an inner knowledge, I think, that is making itself known, um, a, a divine feminine knowing that you don't want to ignore here. You are very connected to source, to spirit throughout May. You are very tuned in to the universe, um, tuned in to destiny. Destiny is still playing a role for you, playing a, has a big hand in your life throughout May. So those chance alignments, um, those synchronicities, they all matter. And they all are carefully constructed messages to you from, from spirit. So you can choose to listen or not, it's up to you. Um, but I think that there is real wisdom in that. Starting out in May, we have Daughter of Cups plus the Ace of Pentacles. Um, so there is something, 
I mean, Daughter of Cups, this, this is, is very you, um, but then combined with Ace of Pentacles, there's something that you, uh, um, something in your heart, something emotional, um, something creative, maybe something artistic, that is taking real shape in, in the real world. It's, it's coming to life before your eyes in the beginning of May, and that could be in the, op in, in the form of an opportunity, of a, of a very literal, tangible opportunity that is being given to you. Um, a job offer, uh, um, money to support this, whatever this is, um, payment, uh, reward, um, but whatever form it takes, it is the beginning of something. It is the opening of a portal um, that will allow you to swim even deeper into your creative flow and ground that creative flow, ground those feelings that you have in something real. Um, the Daughter of Cups, you know, that's, that's a, a true a true dreamer card and often with the with the daughter of cups it's it's depicting someone who struggles to stay grounded or deal with harsh realities that are coming to her but paired with this ace of pentacles it actually is telling me that you have a real grasp on whatever obstacles come your way you have a real you still have a foot on the ground despite being in in the flow of things and you're very balanced, your energy, between earth and water right now. Um, you're connected to reality, you're connected to the real world, but you're not sacrificing at all your, the depths of your emotional intelligence. Um, and the way that you are able to take the temperature of those emotional waters and and gain real insight from those emotional waters, from those depths. Um, your emotional life is a strength for you. And whatever it is telling you, it's leading you to an opportunity that is very real. I also see this being the other way around. Whatever this opportunity is that presents itself to you in May, um, that is maybe the real life trigger that you need um, to tell you that you're not silly for dreaming. You're not off base. You're not delusional. You, this is an affirmation that you have every right to keep dreaming and you should keep dreaming. You should keep exploring these emotional waters. You should be delving into your vulnerability. You should be exploring this emotional side of yourself. I see you, I see some of you leading like a very, um, having a very heart led, uh, you're, you're leading, um, you're leading something from your heart right now. Whether that is a project, whether that is a relationship, whether, it is a completely um, personal endeavor, a spiritual journey, um, some a new commitment that you've made to yourself, a new devotion, a new interest that you've taken up, a new world that you've just stepped into that you want to explore and discover. Um, whatever it is, it is it, you are leading. You are leading that journey from the heart. It is coming from a heartfelt place. And sometimes when we lead from the heart, it's easy to second guess ourselves um, because we live in a culture, a, a patriarchal culture that um, values the mind above all else. So leading from the heart feels often like an act of rebellion. And it can either make you feel like a rebel, it can also make you feel wrong at times, or crazy at times, or too sensitive at times. Um, that kind of feminine power is diminished constantly. And whatever is happening for you in the, in the beginning of May, it is an affirmation that a, a very 
tangible, real life affirmation. Like the world is giving you this opportunity that says, I value this feminine power that you have. I value that intuition that you are feeling. I value that creative flow that you are in. I value that emotional pull, that that emotionally heart-led um, journey or enterprise, project, relationship, whatever it is, I, I value that. I see the work that you are putting into that. I see your strengths that you are d d um, demonstrating in that. And here is a reward for that. Here is reason, here is a, a physical reason to keep going in that direction. So that's really beautiful, Pisces. Make sure that you acknowledge that for what it is and know that whatever is coming to you, whatever whatever is in the hand of God, or I might call that the hand of fate because we do have Wheel of Fortune later on here, the hand of fate that is holding, whatever the hand of fate is holding out to you in the beginning of May, don't look around and say, you know, who's this for? It is for you and you deserve it. And it is in direct relation to um, your feminine, creative, artistic, beautiful, gentle nature, loving nature. It is directly related to that. So know that there is strength and power in whatever is bringing out that out in you right now. Whatever project you are pulling you are throwing yourself into whatever real person you are throwing yourself into whatever um whatever you are leading right now from the heart there you are right in doing so now the advice here is pretty intense <laughs> we've got two major arcana cards you have the emperor plus the devil so i think some of you in the process of really trusting your heart here and valuing your heart, you are also coming face to face with um, negative thinking, with an addiction to negativity, um, materialism, um, your some sort of ugly relationship with a person, a, a belief system, a process, a substance. I can see um, that's that's when the devil card shows up it shows an unhealthy um, relationship with with something um, something or someone someone something that is just simply not serving you and you are a slave to it it is whatever you are a slave to whatever entraps you whatever keeps you trapped whatever keeps you enslaved I think that for many of you because this is this is emotional. It's whatever makes your heart feel small. It's whatever convinces you that you love too much, that you feel too much, that your waters are too deep, that you might drown in them. That, that is not true, and that is a falsehood. There is beauty to the depths of your waters. Um, there is beauty to having a big heart. And yes, I think those with with a bigger heart have a greater container for suffering, but that also means we have a greater container for joy. And it's what makes you a leader in this way. It's what makes you a leader in, in that fight for showing the power of of human emotion, of showing the power of the heart, of prioritizing or at least equalizing feminine power with masculine power. Defining power by feminine standards just as well, just as much as we def define power by masculine standards. Um, For some of you, I see this as a type of mask, someone with a masculine energy, an, in an incredibly oppressive, authoritative, structured energy that is keeping you enslaved, that is keeping you a slave to something that does not align you with your higher purpose, your highest self. Um, but I also see... I also see this, though, as 
a call for you to take the throne as emperor, for you to take control, um, take control over this devil, to put this devil in its place and return to a sense of order where you are, where you are in charge, where you are not a slave. Um, and there is no, you cannot be gentle with this. Though that gentleness is so, so powerful, though it is a strength of yours, it is a superpower of yours, you, when it comes to this, whatever this is for you, this, this addiction to negativity, this addiction to, to things that make you feel small, this thing that makes you feel trapped, this thing that makes you feel limited, whatever it is, it can't be dealt. It's the one thing that cannot be dealt with gentleness or with a, a flowing, um, I don't know, or with a looseness. Does that make sense? It can't be dealt with loosely. It needs to be dealt with so rigorously, so um, in such a structured way, with such clear limits, with such clear boundaries, with real control, with a strong grasp, this is where you belong, and it's not within me. This might feel like a step um, outside of what comes natural to you, Pisces, to be, to be the emperor because you are so much more comfortable being the empress than you are the emperor. It is hard for you to, to, be, to ha exert that kind of control, to, to have that firm of a hand when everything lives in a gray zone for you. Things are not black and white for you. You live in that place of looseness. So being firm about something, being black and white about something feels unnatural. And this is a challenge for you during this month. You, the only way to really get rid of this, to really get a handle on this devil, this thing that in no way is good for you, is in no way serving you. If anything is keep, is stalling this, is stalling this opportunity, this new, this start, and is stalling um, this creative flow, this beautiful, loving, creative flow that comes naturally to you. The only way to get that under control is by being completely, very precisely black and white about it. It doesn't have a place in your life. It does not belong here. I'm hearing that you have to set clear boundaries. Very, very black and white boundaries. You make the rules. And while it's easy for you in every other area of your life, you go with the flow and the flow is a blessing. It takes you places because the flow is your subconscious. It is, it is, a, it is a relaxation into your subconscious, a relaxation into, um, into that feminine flow, that feminine energy. This is, an, this is a place though where you cannot go with the flow. It is a challenge for you to step on, in, onto, into your throne and, and be a real ruler over this. Be the one in charge over this. Be in control over this. Return this to some, some form of order so that you remain the authority in your own life, not a slave to something else in your own life. Your life is not someone else's. It's not something else's. Your life is yours. Which means by definition, by nature, you are the ruler of your life. When you become enslaved, limited by something else, by something that is not serving you, by something that keeps you in the dark, in a shadow place that, that does not align you with, um, with your highest good, your highest self, with this heart-led flow, that is, you need to liberate yourself. You need to put that in its place. And there's no, there's no saving or fixing this. 
This isn't something that can be saved or fixed. The devil card appears to, to represent something that is very cunning in the way that it keeps us in its grasp. And don't, don't fall for it, Pisces. Don't fall for it. If you, if you listen to it, if you let it talk, if you let it try to spin its web of lies, then it's harder to be the emperor in this situation. It's harder to cast it out. It's harder to draw a line that sets a firm boundary. Because you have so much empathy, you have such a big heart, you, it's so much easier for you to listen to it and, and instead try to, try to make room for it. Try to let it coexist with all of the light that is in you. But there, this cannot coexist with the light. You cannot create harmony between this and the other parts of who you are. This is just a part that needs to go. It just needs to go. And don't let your heart, don't let that beautiful empathy you have lead you wrong here, steer you, steer you off course here. Don't even give this a chance to speak. Don't give it a chance to speak. Don't, don't approach it from a place where I, I can fix this. There, there is no fixing it. It's just a situation that needs to be left behind. And you need to make that, you need to make that change. You need to draw that line completely consciously, knowing what you are decreeing with this power that you have, this innate inherent power that is yours by, by birthright. Pisces, if you are able to do this, then what awaits you by the end of May is just stunning. Um, we have, let's see here. So we have the Ace of Cups plus the Wheel of Fortune. So again, just, I know I already mentioned that Wheel of Fortune, but th this isn't a, wow, just another Wheel of Fortune that we're getting this month after having two in April. Um, this darkness is coming up for you so that you, as an opportunity for you to be liberated from it now, and that there is no mistake in the timing of this. It is meant to be you are meant to break free from this right now. And I say that because that Wheel of Fortune, this is destined for you. This is destined for you. You were never fated to be smaller than you really are. You were never fated to live in a box, to be cramped in a box. You are destined to outgrow even the greatest version of yourself. That's beautiful. It really is. That's you are destined to outgrow the greatest version of yourself, Pisces. And man, that just that really gets me. <laughs> um, paired with this Ace of Cups, what you open up for yourself. is a completely, it's like you unblock this river, this rushing river in yourself of creative flow, of that divine, of that divine magic, um, that divine mystique, that, that feminine, um, that creative magic flow. You, you unlock it. You, it's like the, um, what is it? The dam, the it's like a dam bursts. And even though this is already who you are, you are already swimming in these deep waters. You this is a rebirth for you when it comes to the depths of your heart. This is this is um same way that Ace of Pentacles, this is like a very new opportunity that comes in a very tangible way that's just this affirmation 
of, of all the things, the beautiful parts of yourself that, that are strong and working for you right now, the month ends with another ace card. It's another affirmation, another gift from God, like the hand of fate reaching out of the sky to say, here is another affirmation that you will be, that will only be, that will make your heart feel more full than it ever has before. You'll realize that those, those emotional waters run even deeper than you thought they did. And I think that that can, sh that can reveal itself in many ways. It could be that you are falling in love in relationship. I see many of you falling in love with a, a new relationship beginning. You're falling in love with someone else. I see some of you, your relationship deepening in a way because we all, everything we learn about the heart is always through relationship. And I don't mean that romantically, only romantically. I just mean that relationship of any type with another, with other, because that is the only way that we're ever faced with a mirror through which we see ourselves. And that is what expands our heart, our hearts. That is what expands our hearts. That is what allows us to explore the depths of our hearts. So this Ace of Cups, this is this is a new relationship, a new friendship, a new a new love. It can also be a deepening of a love or a friendship you already have. But whatever it is, and also I see this being of some many of you, a falling in love with yourself. A falling in love with who you are and the magic that is you, this divine magic that is you. This trust that you have, this inner knowing being strengthened, this trust in yourself, this divine like internal compass and wisdom, it's like another being inside you. It's like your higher self is your best friend and she or he or they live right inside you at all times. They are there. And it is your relationship with that consciousness that is blossoming in ways that you could never have imagined. And it is exactly where, I mean, it is so lucky. It is really so lucky. It is so divinely blessed. Being with this, with this wheel of fortune, it puts you, this heart opening puts you in a place that's like anything is possible. You know, you think that, that, that this is too good to be true at the beginning of the month, you end the month with, I mean, bewildered because you are, will find yourself in a place, if you are really able to put this in its place, you find yourself in a place at the end of the month where anything is possible. Any dream that you have, no matter how deep it lives in your subconscious, no matter how much you've buried it, it's possible. It's possible now. A portal has opened up in the universe and made this possible for you. Your heart has opened in a way that has made this possible. There is space in you now that was being misused before. And that space, you know, this tenant is being kicked out. That tenant is being kicked out and now there's new space in you. Um, you are becoming a greater, a bigger container for love and joy. Which means the things that you are able to accomplish become greater. When we become greater, a greater container for love and joy, the joy that we are able to actually enact in the world, the love we are actually able to live into the world becomes greater too. The things that we achieve, the things that we accomplish, the things that we think are going to make us happy and fill us with joy and fill us with love. Um, when we become the bigger container for love first, it's like saying, I expect that I will do these things that I also assume will bring me love and joy. Open yourself as a container first and you prepare yourself for the eventual 
execution of the things that you believe will give you love and joy. And that is completely, it is, it's in motion for you. It is your destiny. It is your destiny to go deeper and deeper. It is your destiny to deepen your cup. It's like Mary Poppins bag. This cup, it's magic. It goes so much deeper than you think it does. You can reach your whole arm in there, up to the shoulder. <laughs> um, and the things that you will pull out of this by the end of May, I mean, will surprise you. It could also completely change your course for you. Um, this heart opening could really change your course by the end of May. And just trust that that change in course is destined. That change in course is completely what is supposed to happen. That change of course for you is blessed. It is, it is taking you closer to your life's purpose, even if you don't understand how or why, it is taking you closer to your life's purpose. So you can relax, you can let your heart stay open, having that trust in the universe, which is also married with this trust in yourself, in this, in this high priestess that lives in you. That inner knowing. You will feel a power greater than yourself shaping your life in May. Continue shaping your life in May if you haven't felt it already. And this will continue, I mean, um, through the end of May. I mean, or, or maybe it will only lead you up to, if you have felt that so far, might take a break. You might be having this time to do this inner work, to do this, this hard inner work on yourself but you will come out of May feeling the hand of destiny again, gently pushing on your back, gently guiding you. And that is a welcomed feeling. I see that hand of destiny pushing on your back just behind where your heart is, and it just shining through your heart from the front. It is a real heart opening that is just, it's so much bigger than just yourself. It's so much bigger than you. And however that, that, that Ace of Cups shows itself, if it is a new relationship, if it's a new friendship, if it's a deeper relationship, a deeper friendship, like you've unlocked a second level, a deeper, a deeper level to this relationship, if it is a newfound love for yourself, if it is a new relationship to um, a hobby, to an interest, to a passion that is unlocking this deep, deep love and joy in you, um, it might be different from the thi from how that those things have been for you before. But again, if it is that change of course, if it is surprising, if it is different, know that it is it is destiny guiding you. And you may not see the logic and purpose in it now, but that's not your job now to think your way through it. Your job now is to trust it, to have faith in it, to recognize it for what it really is, recognize the power in it, and simply say yes to it. Pisces, I hope this was encouraging. Um, as a Pisces, this was very encouraging to me. <laughs> so um, I'm thrilled to see what's going to happen. Um, I would love to hear how your May is going. I don't know when you're watching this, but whenever you do watch this, I would love to hear how your May is going. Um, how, how this um, assuming of your throne is going for you, what this opportunity is, what this opportunity is, what this gift is, this blessing that appears. Um, I, I just would love to hear details about your journey, so please feel free to, to share with me in the comments if you, feel, um, if you feel called to do so. It would be an honor to, 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 hear, to hear from you. <laughs> um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, share it with any friends, anyone who, any Pisces who you think could really use some love and support during this time, or any other signs. Um, I do all signs for all 12 readings. So um, I do readings for all 12 signs. Wow, my brain is done today, guys. Um, but I, I, I'm so, so grateful for you. I'm so grateful that you're here with me on this journey. I cannot tell you how much it fills my cup. <laughs> 
how how much it, it affirms for me just the, the the massive gratitude and love and joy um, I feel just simply by connecting with you in this way. So thank you and have the most beautiful, beautiful May. I literally love you. Hope that's okay.